Welcome to Bucko Banner on HeraldStandard.com. I'm Robert Chaney and with me is Jonathan Guth and today we're going to talk about trades. The Pirates made a whole ton of them today, or not today, but just recently. And uh, also, they're still doing well. They went uh, 60, or right now they're 60 and 44, or they, they were after just completing a road trip. And uh, the, the trades, they, they brought in like four guys, got rid of three guys and three prospects. Uh, we're going to discuss that in a second here, but John, let me... Just go through it real quick. Uh, uh, we, we, we talked last week. Juan de Rodriguez for three prospects, the left-handed starter. This week they started with uh, Travis Snyder. This is like a very interesting trade. They traded uh, for a right fielder for Brad Lincoln, a uh, 24-year-old right fielder. Then they traded uh, Gorky Hernandez, who wasn't much, and a draft pick away for Gabby Sanchez, the first baseman. Uh, he's only 20, he's 28, 29, and then they, uh, they traded uh, Casey McGee to the Yankees for Chad Quells to try to make up for Lincoln. And you know, that's just cleared here. What do you think, John? Is this a good trade? Are these good trades, bad trades? Are they better now than they were before the trades? I really believe we're all they're about the same. You think they're about the same? Uh, however, I don't, I wanted to see them really land somebody big. And I know they would have had to give given up a lot, but a Victorino or a Pence. The two, the two fillers, a Victorino and Pence were out there, and they both did get, get dealt, yeah. So and just, I don't know, it just seemed like, I know they're trying, and I give them credit for at least, you know, picking up, I think, I don't think Sanchez is too bad, even though his numbers don't indicate it this season. Uh, however, some of the Quails deal, I, I know that was to make up for Lincoln. I, I just, I would say, I'd give it a, I'd say like five out of ten. It's just an average kind well, of. Well, let's break it down individually now. We, we were talking about Wandy for three prospects. I think we both agreed that was a pretty good deal. That was bring, a good deal. To bring in the lefty, and, and we were talking about who would lead the rotation. You said it would be Bedard. I said it would be Correa. I was correct. And Correa didn't take it real well, obviously. And Correa and, and then kind of Bedard got bombed uh, right after that. Well, Correa so. made me look bad, and Bedard, I guess, made you look bad. So we're yeah. both not really looking to. Yeah, and either of those guys. What to see? Because it's a good thing they got one because yeah, they're having because because the other guys, James McDonald, had another horrible start lately. So that getting an extra starter was key. But let's break these down one uh, individually here. Okay, they trade Travis Snyder. He's a, a, a slugger from the Blue Jays, young guy, 24 years old. He came up when he was only like 20, I think, or so. And you get rid of Brad Lincoln, who had a 2.73 ERA, at 60 strikeouts, and only 14 walks, and 59 in the third innings. He was a key guy in the middle innings. He stopped rallies in the middle innings. He's almost like your middle inning closer, and, and he was a spot starter. Uh, and uh, but, but Snyder, I, I, you know, the thing I think about this deal is I think that what he was trying to do is he's trying to get he's trying to help him this year and next year. I'm talking about Neil Huntington. It seems like he's trying to get both instead of going for a guy that would, a veteran guy that would help him now. I think he's trying to get a guy that will help him here, but he'll be there for a while and have control of the player for a few years. But haven't they been talking about the future for a long time, Ron? Yeah, that, I mean, well, that's what I'm saying. 20 years is a long time. I, I think he's trying to get both, though, because Snyder was just starting to hit, re, just he was just starting to show a little bit of spark, and I think maybe he's thinking he's getting him right at the right time, and he could afford to give, uh, give up Lincoln. Uh, one thing I do want to point out on the outfield, though, they have a left fielder in Marte, a center fielder in McCutcheon, and a right fielder... And Snyder, so they have guys that play that like Garrett Jones and all that. That was like, yeah, those were like, what do you call that platoon? You know? Yeah, it yeah. Just, it just never seemed like Garrett Jones. I don't know. He he can hit the long ball and he'll make an impact, but he's not your everyday guy. And I think this Snyder can be. Well, I don't know because Jones has been having a good year and he has been hitting lefties better. So uh, you know, even uh, uh, I think the first lineup they have with these guys, Sanchez, Gabby Sanchez at fourth. He's a first baseman, right hander. Uh, He'll be 29th at the end of the year. They, they got him and some reliever, nondescript reliever, for Gorky Hernandez and traffic. <laughs> that was a great trade there to, to me. And, uh, yeah. I mean, what do you think? I mean, Gorky Hernandez was hitting 083. Gorky's never could hit. He did have some defense and some wheels. He was a good but, defensive player. But that's about it. He's only 24. They gave him a draft pick, too. But, um, yeah, I thought that was a great deal. Because Sanchez, uh, he had two really decent years. He was an all-star last year. And then he, he just crashed this year. He was only hitting 200. He just started hitting the minors again, and I think you know Huntington saw something down there that he thought they might be worth uh, taking a shot at. So here they have this new lineup behind McCutcheon. They had Sanchez fourth. They had Travis Snyder hitting fifth against the left-handed pitcher. And then they had uh, Michael McHenry, who hit his 10th homer. That's another story. The uh, yeah, and then they had uh, Pedro Alvarez all the way down at the seventh in the lineup. But that was their lineup now. 
Sanchez is probably going to platoon with uh, with Garrett Jones at first, I think. And Jones will get his at bats in the outfield and, and here and there. I don't. Know, but the thing is, Travis Snyder and Jones are both left-handed hitters, so you're, you're probably going to see Garrett Jones mostly at first base in a platoon right now, I think. But I think the same thing with Sanchez. He's, they're trying to get these guys that are going to help them now, and and they have control of them for another couple of years. So weighing everything is for if you're better now or not. I'm, I'm like with you. It's hard. It's hard to tell to me. I mean, McGee was only hitting two thirty. Yeah. Well, that's runners. one thing. They didn't lose anybody. You know, like McGee. That's yeah. The best guy they lost <laughs> was Brad Lincoln. Yeah. It's, what's McGee really? I mean, he. It's just he wasn't really doing too much and. But I do think uh, time will tell, and obviously they have Cincinnati Reds coming up. I looked at the schedule, nine games with the Reds, so I think this is going to really, those games will decide, I think, where they're at. If they're, I, I really think right now the Reds are going to win the division, and the Bucks are looking for wild card berth. The Pirates have handled the Reds pretty good so far, but they, yeah, they are. They have the three coming up. After a pretty decent road trip, they were 60 and 44 after their road trip. They won three out of four at Houston, two out of three at Chicago. They have the three big ones at Cincinnati, and then they go on an 11 game homestand all against uh, West Coast teams. And a good thing about that is they're 33 and 16, the best record in baseball at home. So that, that bodes well for the Let's for that trip. PNC Park, right? Yeah, I always feel good there. So, yeah, we're, we're both kind of waffling on this, I think. We're not really yeah. sure if they're about the same with, with all the trades you've done. Maybe next year it might help them more, but. I think we were looking for more of an impact for this year. We'll see how it pans out, and we'll talk to you next week on Bucko Banner.